<laughs> I want a little snaggle juice. So cute. Hi everyone, this is Dr. Wardwell at All Pet Complex. Uh, this is um, a case today um, that we've been following for a little while. Um, Chibi here, lying on her back and giving us a cute face, is um, an eight-year-old female spade chihuahua um, who has a history of being a diabetic and recently was evaluated for a possible urinary tract infection, um, at which time we identified uh, on ultrasound a mass in her bladder um, which we suspect is a transitional cell carcinoma. Uh, so she's in today for a recheck after starting paroxicam. Uh, the owner indicates that she is clinically much improved, less blood in the urine. Um, she's not having any straining or uh, any other clinical signs. She's up a bit in weight. Um, seems like her uh, diabetes is um, at least clinically well maintained. So um, doing well in that department, but we'll take a peek at her bladder. Okay, so this is her bladder, and you can probably see if you're um, comfortable uh, interpreting ultrasound at all, that there is quite a bit of hyperechoic mixed echogen echogenicity material throughout the bladder, mostly kind of up here near the trigone. And so here we are, transverse. It looks like this, you know, the material is pretty extensive. There's still a lot of room in the bladder, but definitely it's a fairly big mass. And we can also uh, put some color Doppler on it, and which we did last time, and confirm that there is blood flow in that mass. So it's not just blood clots from a from an infection, but there is indeed, you see pretty significant blood flow in there. So anyway, we're plan would be continue the paroxicam since this is not really a- Oh my goodness, <laughs> up we go. Yeah. So we'll continue the paroxicam since this is not really a surgical uh, condition. And uh, we'll probably do a course of antibiotics because with the, um, diabetes and with the mass in the bladder, the uh, dog almost certainly has a urinary tract infection. She's a short dog and um, so somewhat difficult to catch a sample on uh, a fairly clean free catch and she's got a bladder or a tumor in her bladder and so we don't really want to stick a needle in it. So uh, while I can get urine from her, I can pass a catheter, I can put her in a kennel all day. I think it's a fair assumption that there could very well be some infection there. I think it's a uh, fair argument to do a very short course of antibiotics. So I'll probably do like three days worth of something and uh, at least knock things down. I suspect it'll come right back. I'm not trying to create a bunch of resistance or anything, but having a little bit of uh, relief there would probably be helpful. And then we just continue on the paroxicam until either the mask gets so big that she doesn't have any room in the bladder anymore, um, or the urethra becomes obstructed, or she develops some other issue, um, metastasis or um, thromboembolism or something related to that, or something else. Sometimes these dogs can be managed for quite a while. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you find that case interesting. If there's other topics you'd like us to cover, uh, let us know. Um, please, uh, if you like that video, hit the uh, like and subscribe buttons, and we'll see you for the next one. Thanks.